Welcome to 20th Century Reviews. I'm your host with the most, Henry R. Mockingbird. I'm Gary. Considering Halloween season is almost here, we're going to talk about an old dark house movie. The Cat and the Canary. So let's get this review going. It's been 10 years since Silas Norman had passed away. Now his will is being read to six relatives, including Wally Campbell, played by Bob Hope, Joyce Norman, played by Paulette Garden, and all organized by by lawyer Crosby. I think, well... I think it's a good movie. This movie uses many old dark house cliches, such as secret panels and secret tunnels. First, let's talk about the characters. First, there's Wally Campbell, played by Bob Hope who's quite charming in the role. He strikes a good balance between being jittery and being brave. The scene that sticks out to me is when Bob Hope throws a cigar into a crocodile's mouth. The alligator must be smoking. And then there's Joyce Norman, played by Paulette Gardner. She's pretty cute. She's a nice leading lady. And the relationship between her and Bob Hope is kind of humorous and is also kind of charming. Paulette Gardner was also in Modern Times, starring Charlie Chaplin. Lawyer Crosby is George Zuko, who was also in The Mummy's Hand. And then there's the housekeeper, played by Gail Sundegod. She's often talking spiritual. The movie really wants us to think that she is the killer, which, of course, means she isn't. I'm not going to give away the twist ending, but it's a fun fact to know that she was also considered for the role of the Wicked Witch of the West in The Wizard of Oz. Charles Lang makes a cameo in the movie. I forgot to mention in my Gold Diggers of 1933 review that he also made a cameo in Gold Diggers of 1933. He was also Mr. Bedlow in Capatico Junction. Come ride the little train that is rolling down the tracks to the junction. Forget about your cares, it is time to relax at the junction. Lots of curves, you bet, and even more when you get to the junction. Petticoat Junction. There's a little hotel called the Shady Rest at the junction. It is run by Kate, come and be her guest at the junction. And that Uncle Joe, he's a moving kind of slow at the junction. Petticoat Junction. The movie was actually a remake of a silent film by the same name, which in itself was based on a play. Well, I talked about most of the ups of the film, but where are the downs of the film? Well, there aren't any, and there's not much else to say about this movie. Well, but tune in for our Halloween episode when me and Gary review Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. I give the film five stars.
Do not forget to comment down below, push like and subscribe, and ring bell for new contact. If you like to request an old school movie on this show, please do so by requesting it in the comments.